Jeff Marcy is one of the world's leading planet hunters. We would estimate that there are some 50 billion, maybe 60 billion Earth-like planets within just our Milky Way galaxy alone. And remember, our Milky Way galaxy is just one of hundreds of billions of galaxies out there, more or less like our Milky Way. So the number of Earth-like planets in our universe is a nearly uncountable number. But locating exoplanets is only half the battle for an astrobiologist. In the next 20 years, NASA will launch the Terrestrial Planet Finder. This collection of highly sensitive space telescopes will actually recognize if a planet has the right atmospheric gases, such as water vapor, carbon dioxide, methane, and ozone all necessary to sustain Earth-like life. With that picture, we can then take the light from that planet, spread it out into all of its colors or wavelengths, blue, green, yellow, red, even into the infrared, and analyze that light for the chemical composition, maybe even the biological composition of that planet. What we might find are signs of life in a variety of forms. For example, oxygen. When it comes to producing larger Earth-like life, a planet or moon needs oxygen. 3.4 billion years ago, the only life on our planet were single-celled microbial organisms. But as this primitive life absorbed energy from the sun, it formed a green pigment called chlorophyll. This produced photosynthesis, a chemical process which converts carbon dioxide and water into energy, with oxygen as a waste product. Single-celled organisms evolved into cyanobacteria, one of the Earth's earliest structures. Cyanobacteria injected vast amounts of oxygen into the oceans and air. New life emerged, which diversified and developed into large multicellular species, and eventually, man. Our Earth would not have oxygen in the atmosphere if it were not for plant life, by photosynthesis generating the oxygen that otherwise would oxidize rocks and vanish. So oxygen is a biomarker for the Earth. If we could examine another Earth-like planet and detect oxygen in its atmosphere, it would be one key sign, not yet definitive, but one element of the argument that that planet, too, has photosynthetic life. 